please, help me. These stupid scamps are driving me crazy. Oh, thank you. I had a feeling buying that Daedric staff would be trouble. Now I'm paying for it with more than just some gold. A few weeks ago, a spell sword was passing through Leowin and heard that I liked to buy curiosities. He wanted to sell the staff you see me carrying. I eagerly bought it, knowing the value of Daedric relics. In fact, I was a bit suspicious when he sold it so cheap. His loss, my gain, I figured. After examining it for a bit, I noticed a small word carved on it in runes. Using a book from my library, I translated it. The word was nonsense. However, when I spoke it and held the staff, four scamps suddenly appeared. I thought I was done for. Strangely, they all just stood there. It didn't take long before I realised they were following me. I couldn't be seen in town with scamps following, so I decided to discard the staff. I can't explain it, but somehow I can't compel myself to actually let it go. This staff is obviously cursed. Now I'm stuck with it. I need you to get over to the Mages Guild and talk to a good friend of mine, Alvis Uvenum. She's the only one in town that I trust. I was able to get a message to her earlier, but I've yet to get a reply. If I go, then the scamps will follow and my secret will be revealed to all. Alv should be able to help rid me of this staff. We play cards at the Three Sisters often and are old friends. Seek her advice. The beastly little creatures are nasty, smelly, noisy and wrecking my beautiful house. I must be rid of them. I can't let people know I have scamps in here. Or they'll think I've taken to Daedra worship. Try explaining that to the town guard. Everyone in town knows about my hobby. Collecting unusual examples of the arcane crafts. My husband left me quite comfortable, bless his cinders. What will I do with my collection of curiosities when I go? Donate them to the castle, of course. Alvis is a practiced researcher. She's sure to have some good information for you. Zancha. She's been trapped in her house for days. Frankly, the smell gave you away. You must have stepped in... Well, let's just say something that isn't pleasant. Just be sure and keep this quiet. If the other mages even knew that I was involved with Rosentia's new guests, I could get kicked out of the guild. The Mages Guild. But doing a bit of digging, I'm afraid Rosenti has been stuck with the staff of the Everscan. Nasty bit of fun by Sheogorath, I'd say. The only way she can be rid of it is if someone willingly accepts it. It can't be discarded in any other manner. No one would buy that thing once it's activated like it's been. The only chance is to return it to its original resting place, Dark Fathom Cave. Inside the cave, there's rumored to be a shrine to Sheogorath. 
That's where the staff can finally be dropped and the scamps should remain behind. I also learned that the staff makes the owner move much slower than normal. I suppose it's another way the creator upped the annoyance factor. Please, bring Rosentia this information at once. And if you can, help her. I think she's about to crack under the pressure, poor thing. I'm glad she was finally able to get someone over here. I've been gathering all the research I could on her... Um, little problems, shall we say. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. I appreciate your business. Send Rosentia my regards. If there's anything else I can do, please let me know. These scamps are making my homes. I was afraid you wouldn't come back. Oh, please, I beg you, take this staff to Dark Fathom Cave and get rid of it and the scamps forever. I can't fight, and who knows what's guarding the shrine. Plus, do you know how dirty caves are? It'll ruin anything I wear. Do this for me, and I'll reward you with another one of my curios I picked up a few years ago. A valuable ring. Are you ready? Here's the staff. As soon as you leave, the scamps will thankfully follow. Do be careful. I don't wish your death on my hands as well. I'm sorry I ever laid eyes on that thing. How am I ever going to get scamp smell out of my fine linens? Dark Fathom Cave isn't that far from here, but the route may be treacherous. Be careful and journey safe.
I don't see any scamps or the staff. As promised, here's the ring. I bought it from a shop in the Imperial City many years ago for an ex-lover of mine. He ran off with someone else, so now the ring belongs to you. The owner of the shop called it the Ring of Eidolon's Edge. I think you'll like it. Sorry, friend, it looks like you've wa wandered into a restricted area. You've got to... Spare a coin for the... I'm sorry to impose upon you like this, but I'm in need of assistance and I don't know what to do. My husband, Alaron, is missing. It all started when Alaron became foolish and started gambling. He'd visit the arena every week and spend our hard-earned money on bets. I told him to stop, but he didn't listen. He was certain he could win us a fortune and move us somewhere nicer like the Imperial City. It didn't take long for Alaron to begin losing. He resorted to borrowing money from a usurer to cover his losses and place new bets. As you can imagine, it didn't pay off. He ended up owing around 500 gold. We could never have that kind of money to pay back the usurer. Yesterday, the usurer, Curden Grow Dragel, sent for my husband to meet him at the Lonely Suitor Lodge. He hasn't returned since. I fear for his life. Curden isn't known for his patience. Please, I'm not wealthy, but I'd give anything to see Alaron again. You... you will? Oh, thank you. Please be careful. I don't wish any harm to befall you either. I do miss him so. And when he gets back, I'm going to kill him for making me worry like this. Farewell and be careful. Curtain is not to be trusted. Hello there. Yes? Yeah, what do you want? None of your damn business. I'd tell you if I liked you, and I don't. I'm listening. Uh, thank you. How kind. Maybe I know him, maybe I don't. But since you're so interested, I know something that could jar my memory. I just learned that a family heirloom, the Axe of Dragol, which one of my stupid relatives lost, is located on Fort Grief Island in Nibbin Bay. My informant tell me it's hidden in the main keep at the center. Don't know what's guarding it, but I'm sure you can handle it. If you go there and bring it back to me, I'll tell you exactly where Alaron is. Then Alaron may not be coming home from his, uh, journey for a very long time. Like, permanently. Whenever you're ready, and it better be soon, I'll have a boat waiting for you to get to Fort Grief Island. Time's wasting. He's safe for now.
Are you ready to go to the boat? Fine. I have it waiting for you at the dock next to the magic shop. Now get out of my sight. Yeah, it's a battle axe with the word Dragal carved into the haft. Huge. You can't miss it. I ain't gonna draw you a picture. Lucky I'm not making you swim. How goes it? Good to see you.
Oh, no. It appears as though Kurdan has tricked another poor soul with his axe story. You haven't guessed it yet? There never was any axe of Dragol. It was just a ruse to lure you out here. I fell for the same trick. In my case, he told me if I retrieved the axe, he'd erase my debt. I was such an idiot to believe him. You're now the prey in Kurdan's insane hunt, just like I am. And here we'll most likely die. Clever ruse. I wonder how many have died falling for it. Kurdan doesn't make most of his money being a simple usurer. He also invented what he calls the Hunter's Run. People pay him a great deal of money to hunt and kill living human prey. No questions asked, and he takes care of the bodies. He uses the dungeons under Fort Grief as the hunting grounds. I was placed here because he knew someone would go looking for me. I'm sorry you got mixed up in all of this. I hope you can fight. It's our only chance of escaping alive. Don't bother. The door to this place is now locked. The only way to get out is by descending into the Hunter's Run and killing the Hunters. One of them will have the key to the door. That's Kurdan's rules. It's the only way we can win. I wish I could help more, but I can't fight. I've never held a weapon before in my life. Please, get us out of here. I'm not a rich man, but if we get out of here alive, I'll do what I can to reward you. Kurdan is treacherous. Be wary, friend.
I'm impressed that you killed all my clients. Doesn't matter. More will come along with their purses fat with gold and hearts lusting for blood. Too bad about Alloran. Didn't need him anymore now that you're here. At least now he's free of his debt. <laughs> Do you really think I could afford to let you leave here? The key you found is a fake. No prey has ever left this island alive. And I aim to keep it that way. You were right about one thing, though. This is my game, and I'm changing the rules.
I fear grave tidings. Something's wrong, I can tell. What's happened to Aleron? When I saw the grave look on your face, I knew something had happened to him. And what of that fetcher, Curtain? Then Aleron's death has been avenged. I told him that the gambling would lead to this, that foolish man, but he never listened. Before you go, I have this for you. Aleron told me that if he ever got in trouble, this could be used to bail him out of jail. He'll not be needing it any longer, and I want you to have it. I'll not take no for an answer. I know you did all you could, and for that I thank you. Now please, go in peace. I wish to be alone.